I really don't like screen capture. So I was trying to create something different. So I tried to record this video at my living room. Vai vai usar essa TV agora. Pode mexer. And use the TV to show what I want to show you on the screen. But what happened is that the light was changing. So it was hard to read what was in the screen. And my son wanted to watch TV, so he started to scream and cry. Ah, não pode bater na câmera do papai. And it was terrible. So here I am again trying to do it here in the office. Let's see if it works now. <laughs> So what I want to show you today is how to create a video hive author account so you will be able to sell your motion graphics products online. So why should you create a video hive author account if you want to be an amazing motion designer and work at Buck? Think in this way. With this account, you will be able to have some kind of passive income to make it possible to spend the time studying what you need to become this uh, terrific motion designer that you want to be. And you will not need to spend time working to clients that you already know that will not give you knowledge to pursue your dreams. So to create the video hive author is very easy. All you have to do is go to the videohive.net website like this. Let me show you here. So here in the corner, you have this button, start selling. When you click here, you will have a step-by-step. -step. The first thing, they want to make sure that you will post only high quality and original content. It's important to them. And it's important to make it meaningful to your client. In other words, there are a lot of people posting products online. They are in a higher level today. So you have to create great products so then can accept these products. And you do not need to give support to the items that you sell, but they remember you that if you give support, you will get great reviews and it's better to sell your products. Here we have the author terms. Basically is all the information that I will try to show you in these videos that I was creating, but basically talks about your responsibilities and the responsibilities of the marketplace and the taxes and the rates. So it's good to you to read it. It's very simple to understand. So hit continue. Now, if you don't have a video hive account, you can create it now. In my case, I already have it. So I will just log in. So in this step, they ask you if you are making your living from online products or if it's a full-time project that you have or part-time, it doesn't change anything in your profile. I think they only ask you to have an average of how many authors making a living from this type of products. In this case, I will choose this one. Now it's important. You will choose here if you will be an exclusive author or if you will be a not exclusive author. What it means basically is that if you have a product that you sell on VideoHive, you will not be able to sell the same product in other marketplace. But if you want to be non-exclusive author, you can sell these products on the marketplace and other marketplace too. What the people will use to do is create two accounts. One is exclusive and the other one not. So you can create some products to sell exclusively on the video hive and others 
that you will sell here in Video Hive in, in the other marketplace. It doesn't mean that you only you have to sell all your products in Video Hive, just that the product that you sell on Video Hive will not be able to sell in other places if you are exclusive author. And here you can take a look why you should be an exclusive author. If you are a non-exclusive author, the rate that you pay to Video Hive is very high, about 55%. And if you are an exclusive author, this rate will decrease along the time when you are making more and more sales. And they have a table here to show you that. So at the start, when you have zero sales, you will pay 37 and a half percent for the video hive when you start selling more and more to get in the $75,000 you will pay only 12 and a half percent of commission to the video hive and that's why you should consider to be an exclusive author because you will uh, earn more money actually okay I will remain exclusive author here and then they ask you what kind of products you will create. As you may know, Video Hive is part of a lot of other sites that belongs to Winvato. So they sell video templates, but also audio and WordPress templates and a lot of other digital products. So here you can choose what you will sell. In my case, it will be stock video and templates, okay? At the end, they remind you some details about the quality that I already told. In this case, you can set your own prices. That is good. If you are creating stock footage, you will need to have the permission from the people who you recorded. So they remind it here. And documentation. If you are creating a template, you must provide a full and detailed uh, documentation. So the people who buy your product will know how to use it. Okay, let's go. Okay, now theoretically you are already a video hive author, so I will give you an overview of all details of your account. In your username, you can hit settings, you can provide your personal information here. Okay, and here in profile. There are some things that it's very interesting to you to fill. For example, your avatar, your homepage image. This one I really don't know what it's for. I think it's so, um, some old thing that don't apply anymore because I changed it and doesn't happen anything. If you want or not to show your country in the badges. And here is a message to all your clients. When you, they go to your profile, they will be able to see this text. And the secret here is that you can use HTML codes to make your profile look better. So in my case, I wrote a text here, so I add a link and an image with HTML codes. And the final result is this. So when you go to my profile, you will be able to see this image right here, okay? And you do this by using HTML codes. It's important to understand because when you will create your products, you will create the description of your products using this kind of codes. So you'll be able to create more detailed and more beautiful content to your product, like this one. But I will explain how to do this in the future, okay? Let's come back to the settings here. So if you will buy something, you, you have the credit cards here, the badges. It's how the badges that you have, you can rearrange them in this section. Badges are things that you earn from the marketplace are, uh, along the time. So if you sell a lot of products, they will have this kind of badges showing that the level that you are at. And if you had a, a featured product or something like that, all this will be shown here. So your clients will see that you are an uh, experienced author. Okay. Email settings. What kind of message do you want to receive? Social networks. I don't like to give a lot of options. I think that only the social networks that really matter should be here. 
I have just Facebook and YouTube and maybe Vimeo and what products they saw. Here in your items, you have the option to choose a featured item. So if your client go to your profile, they, they will see the featured item here, okay? Invoice and credit settings. If you want, you can hide your name from the invoice and show only the profile name and depending where you are from, you can give additional information for the invoice. Okay, eating support settings, as I said at the start, you don't need to give any support if you don't want, you just need to create a product. But if you give a good support, you will have more reviews and it will be good for your business. So in this case, you have four options, you can not give support at all, you can give support through comments, or if you have a website with a ticket system, you can give the URL here, or through email contact form. So if you choose this one, the clients will have a form where they can text you to receive support. Item support location, if you want, you can take some time off, and here you set this vocation time so the client will receive a message that you are not available to give support. Alter teams, if you have another account, let's say a non-exclusive account, or if you have a friend that can help you to give support to your clients, you add him or add them here. So if a client send a message asking for support, your friend can answer for you. Google Analytics, you can add a tag here so you can see how many people visited your profile. So here you can change the exclusivity of your items. I don't recommend you to change it unless you are pretty sure about it because it takes about 30 days to take effect. So if you want to revert it, you will have to wait 30 days again, okay? Item licenses, in the case of Video Hive Author, this one doesn't apply, but this one is important to you to keep it turned on because extended licenses are very important. For example, if you have a client that is producing a game and then they will buy a template for you using this game and then he will sell this game to a lot of people, they need to buy the extended license because they will in somehow resale the result from your template. Since Enveto become a USA company, you need to, to fill this tax information so the US government can take the taxes that you should pay to them. If you are not a US person, depending on how is the relation with your country to the US, you will pay a different amount of tax. In my case, I'm a Brazilian. We don't have any trade threat with the US. So in my case, I pay the maximum amount that is 30% when a US citizen buy a product from me. What you need to do is go here and fill the form and then send it and you will be ready to go, okay? Then every year you will receive tax summary where you can see how much you paid to the US government of taxes. You will receive it at your home and you will have a digital copy here too, okay? Dashboard is basically a place where you have a lot of information about your account, for example, announcements, about important things on the video hive in the author side and if you have any comments in your products you will see the unread comments here and we'll be able to answer right here um, some fun facts and uh, weak states and here we have a lot of information that you can use to learn more about how to create products and how the video hive uh, works the problem is that it's not very well organized because the information are very spread. So I will try to create some videos to make this information more easy to, to reach. 
in a way more intuitive. It will be easier to you to understand what is the step by step to create a product or something like that. Here is also where you can upload a new icon. So you choose the category that you want and hit next. So you will be able to start to upload your item. So here in portfolio, you will have all the products that you already posted and some interesting information, for example, the amount of sales that you already made and the average per month. Here we have two options, the followers and the following. In the past, it was more important because when you follow it, someone, the products that they that he created will show up in your home when you enter at video hive today it not shows you anymore you have to come here and see the authors that you are following or are following you it's a kind of social network that is not so important anymore okay item items if you have some items to approval uh, and you have a soft reject and they tell you what to change. This information will, will be shown here. Downloads it is what you already buy from the marketplace. All the reviews that you receive from your client will be listed here and you can answer them here. Refound, I never used this tab yet uh, since they implemented it. In the past, they refound in a different way and now they create a system to it. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but if some client buys something and one I have found, they can ask for it and you will be able to approve it here, okay? Here in the payouts, it's all the payment that you receive across the time. You have three options to receive it. The PayPal, Payoneer and Swift. In my case, since my local currency is not dollar, uh, PayPal is very expensive because the exchange is very high. So Payoneer is the best option to me because it has prepaid credit card that they use to give you the money so you can expand using this credit card. And other option is the Swift that is basically an international transaction to your local account but you need to have a minimum of $500 to be able to use it. And in my case, it is very expensive too. Just to make a transaction, the video hive charges you $25 and your bank probably will charge you too. So the best options for me is the Payoneer. If you don't have a Payoneer account, there will be a step-by-step -step here that show you how to create your account, okay? Here in the earnings, you have some stats about your sales across the time, across the current month, the countries that are buying your products and some information very useful to you to, to plan your new products. And here is statement is where you can see all the earnings and taxes that you paid. So in this case, I sell this product, the crippling paper logo review, and I earn $12 and I pay to the marketplace one and a half dollar. But in this case, it was a US citizen and I had to pay this amount to the US government. So that is it. This is a overview about how to create a video hive account and how the profile works and what options you have to manage your account. In the future, I will create new videos talking about how to create a product, how to choose what you should create or not, and try to give you a step-by-step -step about how to create these products, okay? I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching it and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.